In this video, we're going to show you how to use SharpCap to take images of the sun. At this point, you've already looked through the telescope to see the sun and found some points of interest you'd like to image. Open SharpCap. If the camera doesn't show up, go up to Cameras, Rescan for Cameras, or click on ZWO ASI 290MM. That's a live image of your camera. As you can see, it's really overexposed. And I want to find an edge to the sun, and I have a little bit of an edge right up in here. We're going to move that over a bit using the arrow buttons, and I'd like to use motor speed of about 5. The next step is to go to Exposure and change it from white to gray. Now it's time to focus. Using the coarse black knob only, I'm going to focus the image and we're looking along the edge of the sun. I want to try to get this as sharp as I possibly can. As you get closer, you should start to see some granules appear. Let's get our exposure time set. We're going to hit the histogram up here, click on that. As you can see, it's well over 100, and I want it somewhere in the 80s. So go back to exposure, and we're going to move that down a bit till it's in the 80s. That's going to be perfect for imaging. X off of that, and there's the sun. Not bad. We probably want to fine tune the focus in a moment. But first, I want to see if there's any prominences on the sun today. Go to Gain and change that up to about 200. I'm looking around the edge. I don't want to change the exposure at this point. I'm going to move the gamma up to about 100. And again, using the hand-controlled motor speed 5, I just want to look around the sun. Look along the edges and see if I can find... Oh, look at that. There's a nice one right there. Perfect. All right, we're going to hold that. That's our image. And it's nicely centered for us, too. If it's not centered like that, you want to unscrew the camera just slightly and the camera holder and turn it. Make sure you tighten it back up when you're done so you can get a nice composition. Using the arrow buttons, I'm going to move the thing down. Just where I want the image. Yep, a little more. Right about there. I'm going to take the gamma. I'm going to look, get rid of that for a moment. Let's take that down. It starts to disappear. So you can play with the gamma on this. And also the gain. If you move the gain up too high, of course, it becomes way too overexposed. And too low, and of course, you can't see it. I just want to start to see detail with the gain. And I don't want it too white, too overblown. So somewhere around in there is pretty good. And now the gamma. I don't want to lose too much detail, so I'm going to move the gamma around a little bit to about there. I can play with the tuner, the prominence tuner, a little bit as well. So let's turn that one way or the other. And notice what happens to the image. 
You don't have to turn it too much. It's changing the wavelength. And that looks pretty good. I move the image back down. And let's go back to the chromosphere. We found a nice place to go with that. We're going to take the gamma all the way back to 1. And let's knock our gain back. I have that set here for about 20. Let's get a really sharp focus. Let's go to 150. And now using the red knob only, let's move the focus until we get something that looks really good. It's okay to go a little bit beyond either way until you can see what's really good and sharp. Now right there. Let's go back to 50 on the zoom. And we're ready to start imaging. Go up to quick capture. And let's take a thousand frames. Down the bottom, there's your thousand. That's how many frames it's taking. Currently, it's not taking very many. It's uh, 8.5 frames per second, roughly 7.8. Sometimes you can get as high as 100. I'll pause the video until it's done. And there's your finished image. It looks pretty good. Let's go and do the prominences. We do not want to change the exposure at all. Instead, go down to gain, and we're going to move that back up. So we can just start to see the prominence up there. A little high. Let's zoom in. Let's make sure we have this right. Go to 100. That looks good right there. And again, play with the gamma a little bit. See if that'll bring out a little more detail. You don't want to overblow it like that. Just bring it back a bit. That's too much. And that looks good. Let's go back to Quick Capture. And again, I would like to take a thousand frames. Click on that. And I'll pause the video while this continues. And there's our prominence image. We have to take one more image, and that's called a solar flat. We're going to go back to the chromosphere image. So let's go over and reset our gain once again. And we add that down to about 20. Knock our gamma all the way down to one. And now I want to center up on the sun. We're going to try to take care of any focus issues that we have. I would like to get the entire sun in the image. Perfect. At this point, I'm not going to touch anything on sharp cap, but rather go to the focus on the telescope. Using the black knob only, the coarse focus, start to turn it until the granules just disappear. And that's your solar flat. Let's go up to quick capture. You can take a thousand frames, even 500 will do. But once that's done, you're going to have three images, the chromosphere, the prominence, and the flat. In the next video, we'll show you how to stack them using Auto Stacker. But that's all you need to do here with SharpCap at the telescope.